could see murder be free now. Finally, after all these years, he said he's innocent and he went on a hunger strike. Master P finally came to his aid and brought attention to this. And now the um, witness recants his testimony that C. Murder was involved in this murder. So uh, C. Murder is currently serving a life sentence behind bars for uh, the death of a teenager that was shot and killed at a nightclub. The rapper who's Master P's younger brother, um, who was convicted in 2009. Now, this is a, a weird case, a very weird case. Now, the witness recently changed his story, and he basically said that the cops kind of like, he, he lied on the stand because the cops kind of like made him lie, okay? Now, C. Murder was accused of killing uh, this guy named Stephen Thomas. He was 16, Um this guy said, uh, I know that the individual who I saw shoot the gun was not Corey Miller, C. Murder. Okay, so uh, he said this in an affidavit filed in the 24th Judicial uh, District Court records. So, like, cops, between this guy and the cops lying and everything, they stole years of C. Murder's life, okay, uh, and tons of money. Uh, C. Murder's lawyer, Paul Barker, and Kenneth Jordan claimed detectives and prosecutors from Jefferson's Parish sheriff's office they made this guy jordan uh, he made him make false statements um they said the detectives and prosecutors threatened uh, to do criminal charges against him for other incidences uh, he was really their star witness in the second trial without him they don't get a conviction now i think the first trial got thrown i'll go through that in a second uh, back in february master p said seymour was going to hunger strike um and he also revealed that there was evidence proving C. Murder's innocence. There's been lots of stuff. Now, let's go through it real quick. Now, C. Murder and Master P have had their differences. I'm not going to go into that. You know, C. Murder didn't feel like his brother was standing with him for a while. But they, all that matters is they worked it out. You know, they're brothers, okay? Uh, C. Murder is, is a crazy guy. But, you know, the one thing he probably didn't do was this, okay? Like, he's been pretty adamant with the same story. Now... Let's go through this real quick, <laughs> okay, just for some backstory. Um, let's see, on uh, September 2003, he, uh, he was convicted convicted on January 18th of beating in uh, a fatal shooting of a fan, 16-year-old time. So this goes back over, almost 20 years ago. We're getting close to 20 years. Um, this was known as like a club it was like the heart it was a platinum club and there was a lot of problems at this club it's since been closed uh Miller was arrested january 19 2002 for causing a disturbance at the house of blues in new orleans he was indicted 2002 however the judge martha sasson granted new trial based on claim that prosecutors improperly withheld criminal background information of three of their witnesses okay so which me which we're getting to now because one of the witnesses said he was pressured to say something because you know, they were going to press these other criminal charges. Uh, while waiting retrial, Miller was placed on house arrest. That's when it allowed Miller to promote his, uh, you know, his CD and Death Around the Corner and everything. And, uh, but he had a gag order. You know, he couldn't talk about the case. Uh, in 2007, Judge Sasson granted Miller's request to work on his music career uh, as per basis. Uh, but denied requests for 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. curfew. Sasson's rulings, 2008. Okay, so then Sasson's rulings in the case became an issue in her failed 2008 bid for re-election. Sasson was defeated by another judge, Ellen Kavok. This is where things changed, okay? She had Miller returned to jail in 2009. and Oh, no, in 2009, he was confined to house arrest, and he could only leave for documented medical emergencies. So things just get worse and worse. May, 2000, uh, May 27, 2009, he pleaded no contest to two counts of attempt, second-degree murder. These charges stem from 2001 incident in Baton Rouge. You know, we, so we saw that. The actual surveillance video of the incident was posted on YouTube, and Miller's was sentenced to 10 years with credit of time served. Okay. It was attempted second-degree murder. It wasn't, it wasn't actual. Uh, in 2009, the murder trial began. Uh, the father of the victim spoke uh, of his son being a huge fan of seeing murder before the incident. A bouncer had also testified against Miller, claiming he, uh, he had witnessed every moment of the shooting. He claimed 
fear for repercussions of his testimony. Prosecutor also charged C murder associates with threatening many of the witnesses in this case. August 2000, uh, August 10th, 2009, the jury reported being deadlocked, but the judge hands Lindbergh instructed them to attempt to resolve the deadlock. Three hours later, the jury announced it reached 10 to guilty verdict. The judge suspected that given the deadlock announced earlier, followed by the quick reversal, one of the jurors decided to switch under pressure at the end of the trial. Then he instructed them to go back and go, go longer. When they came back with the same verdict, Miller was uh, convicted of second-degree murder charges, 10-2 verdict. Man, murder was sentenced on August 14th by district hands of mandatory life imprisonment. 2009, August 2009, president requested investigation of jury uh, deliberations. This is just a messy case. Then in 2011, the conviction was upheld. He kept trying to appeal it. 2013, final appeal was rejected by Supreme Court. Uh, Miller's attorneys argued that because juries must reach unanimous verdicts in criminal cases, but they still, it was 10 to 2. It should have been, I think that's called a hung jury or something. You go to another case. I don't know. But um, yeah, man. So this is the case with uh, Seymour. Sorry to talk so long. I just wanted to give you guys uh, give you guys a backstory on this one. So hopefully, C. Murder will be released from jail. That'll be good because obviously this is just a messy case. I'm sorry that it's so sad that that kid's real killer is not you know, you know being held responsible for this. Uh, Steve Thomas died in that club, and you know his real his real killer is out there man you know scary uh so anyways see murder just think about all those years from like 2002 up to now so he was free for what seven of those years um but you know still having that on you it's not real freedom and then you know having that looming case on you so then 2009 to almost 10 years in jail right now Maybe we can he can get this overturned. Let's hope. Uh, good news for C murder. Hopefully it works out. But the justice system is flawed, so it's not always fair. Rarely, rarely fair. Uh, anyways, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Jordan Tower JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to run ads to the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. We'll check you guys on the next video.